Hello, I'm Entrisim and welcome back to Thron the Depths. We have up there our spy balloon, the bushel. Uh, we still need to figure out what our prefix is. I, I have actually recorded these in the batch, so I haven't decided on the prefix yet. Though that looks awesome. I, I really like the look of that up there. It looks pretty cool. And you can see it's actually got like a shadow cast on us. That's really, really cool. Um, but yeah, we're going to be working on the missile system today and probably some more weapons. This episode is all about the weapons. It's all about the money, 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 and actually the weapons, 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 because we just want to have fun and blow up stuff now. Do, 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 do. Anyway, um, fleet main. I think we need to extend this front a little bit more. Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll do that when we've actually built the weapon system. So, uh, we need AI, because this is going to be AI controlled. And we need a local weapon controller here. Controlling one weapon. Excellent. So it's actually found the turret block. Color picker, you should be zero. So it's found the turret block. In front of it... Um, AI, 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 AI. I don't need a fail safe. Or do I? Yeah, I'll, I'll put a fail safe in. Just in case. I don't know if I do because I'm going to use a laser designator. I love laser designators, by the way. I, ju I just love them. They work so much better. Um, in my opinion... <laughs> In my trials as well. Like, I've tried a few different methods, and I think they're just the best. Uh, what do I need? I need... I think what we'll do is go... Missile torpedo. Missile controller. Actually, I'm going to put the missile controller here. Which means I need to move the failsafe to the back. There's a controller here. And then if I put a launch pad here. Connect the missile controller. If I put one here, does it connect? Not connected. Okay, so they don't connect sideways. Okay. Right. With that new information... I'm going to go back to what I was doing before. Actually, no, because I need the space. Six-way connector there. I'm going to bring that out the front. And I also need to attach it there. And up there. And then I can put the... What's the launch pad on? Connected. Connected. Connected, right. One, two, three, four. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that works. Then I need my missiles. So for missiles, you want a missile block. One, two, three, four. I actually do want them to be four long. One, two, three, four. 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 Two, three. So that is three long. And one, two, three. And then I'm going to remove that top bit because I want to be able to put a laser designator at the top as well, just so that it can, like, you know, target as many things as possible. So we get a laser emitter. Bam. Laser miller. Bam. Right. Which means that if I go back to color... Ah, uh, not yet. There is something we want from AI. We want wireless receiver. And this needs to be attached to this guy. Which actually means I need to put something somewhere else. Um, right, okay, get rid of the mirror line temporarily. Put the safety switch here. No mainframe connection, that's fine. Controlling two weapons. Actually, I could just attach it to a mainframe on the back of here. Like, it doesn't need to be controlled from distance. I could just give it a mainframe here and put all the controls in the turret. 
That might make more sense. If we went for uh, AI main, oh, you can't, you can't do that. Okay. Right. So. Color picker, fleet main. And then we want to put a back on here, so up. There is a gap down there, actually. How big is this gap? That big. That said... You know what? I actually want to put ejectors on these launch pads. The reason being, they're going to be pointing at the target. They would be perfect candidates for having ejectors. So I'm actually going to build this slightly differently. We could maybe extend it as well. And it's getting a little bit big now. I should probably be cautious about feature creep coming in, but... Yeah, let's do it. Let's actually have this fire like eight missiles. Because frankly, that would be amazing. Connected. Not connected. Why are you not connected? Oh, because I put the wrong thing in there. Connected. There we go. Um, missile torpedo, laser minute. Right, so it's going to use a laser to designate the target. Eight missiles is plenty. One, two, three, four. It gets a bit hard to see in the dark. One, two, three, four. This should be able to, like, kick major butt. This is... Going to be pretty hardcore. Fleet main. Can't put that there. It'll block that. Uh, I would like zero followed by missile torpedo. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a ejector. Ejector, 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 ejector add-on. And you know what? We will mirror. It will mean that the missiles move, like, really fast as soon as you eject them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They are, those missiles are going to be shot out at some speed, which means it'll get, like, a ton of range. These missiles are going to be hella amazing. Uh, as soon as you fire them, they will, they will murder things pretty fast. In fact, I'm going to take that away, and I'm going to give it a staggered fire add-on. Staggered fire add-on. Attach your custom missiles to construct stop PC. Uh, we won't use those. Add on. Put it there. I'm going to give them a 0.2 second delay. So they'll fire one missile every 0.2 seconds. There's eight missiles. That's 1.6 seconds worth of firing. Which is quite a time, right? That is... That is going to be firing for some duration. Lovely. So this guy should be able to target those and stuff when I set up the uh, the AI. I haven't set the AI yet. And what I might do, by the way, is give it a skirt around here to protect this joint. Because if this joint gets shot, it's game over for the turret. Um, so I will put a quick skirt on it. So I want to grab you. I want the skirt to be blue. Yeah, so that skirt's going to protect it. It's got a very large back to the turret. But... Whatever. I mean, if it gets shot from the side, this is exposed. But it's probably going to get shot from the side because it's going to be facing the enemy. So I feel it's very unlikely that's going to happen. I feel fine about this. Right. Now, before we go and set up the AI on the main base for it, let's choose what our thruster will do. Now, there is... I think there's a couple of new things actually just been added. There's a thumper head. Impart kinetic, kinetic collision style damage relative to the vehicle's mass and forward speed. It sits on the front of a missile. The thumper head is a new type of missile head. And there's a variable thrust thruster. Which can go very slow, very long distances, or it can burn very efficient, uh, very quickly and just go really short distances. These have just been added, like literally updated in between episodes. And I, I was like, ooh, ooh, I want this. Laser down the receiver, that's right. Explosive warhead, okay. Target prediction guidance, don't need that, you've got a laser. Uh, two fins, two thruster, uh, two fuel tanks with a thruster. That should go pretty far. 
Um, I think I might put a frag in here. Frag, 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 more head. Yeah, and we'll put the cone at like 30 degree arc, so it'll explode forwards. Now, I could try a thump ahead. But I don't think we're going to be going that fast. Uh, we do get ejected pretty fast, but when we're ejected in the direction of enemy, they, we do kick in the thruster. So unless they're really close, they won't take kinetic damage. Um, we could use it instead of an explosive warhead. I, I don't think it's completely necessary, but we'll try it. We'll try a thump ahead, right? I have no idea how it's going to work, but we'll try it. Can I put a thump ahead in here? Oh. It sits on the front of the missile. So it's it's unguided? It must be for unguided missiles. I, I don't want that then. No, I, I want guided missiles. Why would you want unguided missiles? Ugh. Thruster. Do I want to go long distances efficiently? Yeah. Ramp time. I'm going to have a slow missile that can travel like really long distances. And hopefully, we should be able to hit enemies like really far away. That's my hope. Okay, I think we're done. Actually, I need to assign design to all uh, same length missiles. Yeah, okay. So let's go out build mode. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to take control of the turret. And then I'm going to hit... Uh-oh. Damn it, turret! It's because I turned. It's because I turned my camera. I can't turn my camera while I'm in control of the turret. It doesn't work. I need to stop being in control of the camera. Right. Fire. Change what I'm in charge of. Switch to them. Thousand meters easily. Thousand two hundred. Now we're turning. We're still going. We're going in a circle, but we're still going. And it's out of fuel. Okay, so that could easily go like 1,400 meters. It's a little bit slower than a normal thruster. Um, but I feel that distance is probably merited. Like, we can attack enemies at long range, and that's really what I want. I want to be able to shoot them before they shoot my base. A quick look at the map. Is anyone coming my way? No. Good. Good. I don't want to be attacked. So we're going to set up the AI for this. I'm going to set up the AI. I should build a control center. Like, this is my armory. I really shouldn't be out here. I should build, like, a proper control center. You know what? I don't build a control center here. Here's for expanding the engine. Your oil. I could move the oil. But I will build a control center. The control center is going to be here. And ideally, like, we're going to start building out around there. So the control center can't get hit, in theory. And I'll put, like, repair bots and stuff in the control center. I also need to start repair replacing some of this flooring that's wood. Uh, with one slots. With, like, actual, you know, proper number of slot things. Yeah, I need to do that. Okay, so let's go into build mode. And we will grab you. How much do you cost to make? Is it like miscellaneous? Fortress, like, pushy thing? Where's the fortress pushy thing? Air? Control? Fortress controller? Engine? Miscellaneous? It must be on a miscellaneous. I'm just not seeing it. I always just grab it with R and, like, copy. New object. I know you can do new object fortress. Oh, well. Uh, I'm going to place it under the ammo stockpile, which seems like a terrible, terrible idea. It doesn't cost any crystals, so... Oh. Still put my color picker on. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, five. Right. That's 25 I've created there. And I think over here there are less than 25. So if I cut this section away, it doesn't matter. Okay. So let's start deleting parts of this section. I'm going to delete it in small chunks. Because I've got to be careful that, you know, other bits don't fall off. Like, I don't know if this is attached. It is attached. Okay. And I will take this, which is control of the fortress, and I will temporarily move it to here before deleting it. Because I will not fortress control it, but I want to put it in the, uh, the new thing that I'm building. Oh god, I didn't mean to delete those. I actually want those. There we go, right. Are you still attached? How are you still attached? Is it over here? You're attached over here. Bye-bye! You are now gone. Please leave the big brother house. And the idea is we are going to move everything in there that is control related. So we are going to not color that. Remove the fortress controller. And put the fortress controller in here. I don't put windows in because that would be a structural weakness. But we might in future. But this is going to be like in the heart of the base. And there will be windows on the outside. But this is going to be like well protected. Uh, we'll put a quick AI in. AI mainframe. Put it there for the moment. We will give it a wireless transmitter. Transmit on channel 1, which is the AI up there. And what do we need to give it? Like, we could give it cards. And you can give it, like, aim target priority. You can give it aim point selection. Tracker target association. I think we do want to give it cards. And actually, where it is at the moment, it's in a terrible place. So we're going to move it to here. Delete. Delete. In fact, we can put the transmitter on the side, put the card on top, uh, over left-right card slot, and this allows you to plug, like, cards in to be able to control your thing. So, target prioritization and aim point selection. So, this will aim for, like, vulnerable parts, and then the card, um, we go in here, don't we? This card here, set value per block. You can basically choose to, like, shoot different things. So we're going to want to shoot things at altitude with this. This is also meant to, like, take out planes and stuff. So I'm going to give it, like, a little bit of a boost to altitude. Um, speed. Maybe a little bit on speed, but not crazy amounts. Value per range. I don't mind if you shoot at range. I really don't. So a little bit less range, but not really that much. And value of propulsion. Value for engine. Um, yeah, if you've got a mainframe, shoot it. That's fine. Okay. And then if we go up here, we can then tell it to shoot at... Huh. I can... Yes, I made it. I want you to shoot maximum engagement range is 1,400 meters. There we go. Huh. Lovely night sky. But that's it for this episode. Uh, we have our little... Huh. Command station. We have our first missile turret. What we're probably going to do is build a real, like, shell turret and maybe a torpedo turret as well. And then we'll start building maybe an offensive boat. So let's quickly look at the map. They're not coming for me yet, but they will. They will, and it will be painful. And when it happens, I will probably regret everything in my life. But for now, I feel this place is somewhat decent. Uh, I could do with another crystal growth farm. I might do that. I might sort out my resource collection next time. Um, what else? And the engines are okay. What will we actually do next time? Might be a cannon. We've got some metal. It might be a cannon. So yeah, I'll sort out the resource collection area. I might actually just move them into a separate area. Like, make this bit bigger. Chop off this entirely and just move everything over there. Uh, the dock, I will think I'll leave for now. I'll put repair bots down. I would like some repair bots. They can repair things for you. I mean, I can repair as a player, but if I'm away from here, it'll still repair if I'm not there with repair bots. And I think I might put the repair tentacles back. Just to make sure we've got enough. 
And then we'll start on a cannon, I think. I think a cannon would be nice. Maybe a torpedo launcher first, then a cannon, because cannons would take longer to make. And a torpedo launcher is very effective against anything in the sea. So, yeah. Torpedo launcher, then cannon. And we'll definitely do the resources next time. Don't forget the cannon next time, but we'll definitely get the torpedo launcher. But anyway, I've been at really soon. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. It was uh, a bit more of a one project type one. Getting that nice missile turret up and sorted. I feel it's going to be good. It doesn't look that nice because of the way the skirt is pretty large. But I want it to be able to aim pretty high up. So, you know, I gave it a uh, a wide skirt so that, you know, it should be fine. Then people are going to be able to shoot up uh, people, like, very close, like, within 100 meters. At which point, you know, we've got other problems. But, yeah, until then, I'll be next If you like, remember to like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. And stay shiny.